Hello YouTube, the name is Mirage and I'm from Gaming Entertainment Solutions. I've been playing Hearthstone for a while so let's take a look at it. Boys, look who it is! Sounds like I've got quite a fan base there already. Um, Hearthstone's in its current closed beta phase. I received an invite about a month ago, downloaded the client and I've been playing since. Um, it's very addictive, it pulls you in and I've never been a TCG fan and uh, this has slowly slowly started creeping into uh, the bottom section of my heart where I now uh, very interested in TCG games and, uh, and how it plays. Obviously this is a very basic version of how the games get played. The game mechanics take care of all the the, 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 the hard strategies and thought planning for you and this just gives you an enjoyable um, I don't know, an, an enjoyable light look at um, enjoying a card game. The open beta was supposed to occur in December 2013. True to Blizzard's style, they decided to hold on to everybody downloading and um, joining their servers, flooding their servers straight away. And uh, it looks like it might happen at the end of January 2014. So hopefully you take a look at this video and decide to download the client and give it a bash yourself. The, um, the, the development team in Blizzard, they, uh, they call this collectible strategy game a small scope title, but it's epic by nature. And if you're, uh, you, uh, if you're um, familiar to the Warcraft universe, you'll see in um, you get to choose Oh, well, let, let me start off by saying you start off the game with a mage deck. So if you're, like I said, familiar with the Warcraft universe, you'll know your warrior class, your shaman class, rogue class, which I do have here, your paladin class, etc, etc, through all of these. You can pick from nine different decks um, that you can play as only when you beat somebody that has that deck. So you start off with a mage deck. I beat a rogue, I got their deck. I beat a warlock, I got their deck. And it works that way with everybody else. Um, the game has three modes. Normal play mode, which uh, you play against um, some other Hearthstone players around the world who've also been collecting decks and taking names. And you have two play modes within your play mode, which is a casual play, um, where you play unranked. And then a ranked mode where you then start getting your um, your games critiqued and you then get placed into the league pretty much. Each deck has a racial, just trying to remember this, has a racial passive ability at the bottom there. And as soon as I show you the actual game itself, you'll remember um, what I was talking about. You have a practice mode as well where if you're not too familiar with the game AI, and you're a little bit skeptical of jumping straight into the fray you can come here and practice select your deck and then you can play against any of the other classes if I'm not mistaken if I play against a hunter deck in the practice mode I might unlock unlock the hunter deck into my collection here then you have the um, there is currently showed as the arena but it would also be unlocked as a forge mode where you get to build a deck um, a once-off deck you pick from three different cards which it throws onto your screen you pick your favorite out of the three it puts that one that you've selected into your deck once you've filled your entire deck you then play against somebody else who's also playing forge mode so it's a very fair game and um, you know there's no um, upper hand with regards to you know, if you fine-tuned and built a deck um, prior to your games, which you get done here in your deck manager, which allows you to build custom decks with your favorite abilities, spells, minions, and um, as you've got the top here, you can see you've got rogue-specific cards, shaman, warlock, neutral, which is um, the neutral ones apply to all the different class decks. Now what I'm going to do is, actually no, I'm not going to build a deck right now, it's going to take a bit too much time, so we'll just flow with a normal deck. Um, but that's where you would build your favorite deck. Now let's go through to the play mode. 
I'm going to select my mage deck and uh, let's see if I can uh, if I can win the game. Now this is how it goes through finding an opponent around the globe. As mentioned earlier, I said that um, I mentioned minions. Minions are the uh, basically the pawns on your on your side of the board um, that you use to deal some damage or at least defend your hero. Each hero, so me and my opponent, have 30 HP, 30 health. I'm against a hunter this time. Let's see. Now you start off with a basic draw of cards. And I can select which ones I do not like and want to have replaced. I It's going to take a while before I get to, you see, 6, 2, 4. That's the mana that you need to use to be able to play that card. You start off with one and gain one extra per turn, so it'll take forever to get to play those cards. I'd rather stick to these three, four, not too bad. Alright, let's start the game. So here's my cards. I've been granted another one there because I get to play the first turn, and my enemy's cards are that side. Here's obviously your board with a current Ogrimmar theme, if you're familiar to Warcraft or World of Warcraft. I've only got one mana at the bottom, as you can see there. This card cost me one mana and it's a basic minion, which I'll just drop down there. He's got two attack power and one health. And um, here's the racial skills I was telling you about. I have got a fire blast which deals one damage and costs two mana to hit. On the heroes, on the hunter hero side, he has steady shot which deals two damage to an enemy hero, so that would be me. Also cost him two mana. Now you'll see there's a bit of a red glow based on where he is mousing over. So you can uh, basically watch what he's doing but you can't see what he's doing. He's obviously passed the turn because he's got nothing to play. Arcane Explosion, I can play that. It says deals one damage to all enemy minions. He currently hasn't got any minions on his board. All I can do right now is either end my turn, play that card or um, I wonder. use the fire blast which I'll do, I'll hit him for one damage I'll use my minion to hit him for two damage which then leaves me with nothing else to do right now because my mana is finished I've taken three HP from him, I'll end the turn and we'll carry on you do also have some basic chat features so you can say greetings, well played, thanks, etc etc so we'll say hello, hello. and see if he responds distract him a little bit Hmm, yeah, today would be nice. Okay, he's dropped a tracking card. Look at the top of the deck. I didn't get to see all of that. Ah, oh, there it is. Three cards of your deck. Draw one and discard the others. Okay, so he's basically just replaced some more cards. Clearly, he's got very high mana costing cards, which is scaring me a little because I think that means he's got some pretty epic damage dealing cards coming soon. Okay, I can play a raid leader here, which adds an extra attack power point to that minion next to it and any other ones that I drop onto my deck. So previously I did 2 damage, now I'm going to do 3 damage when I attack him. That empties my play and we'll end the turn and wait for him to drop something onto the deck there. Something very interesting to mention as well as this currently is PC based. Once it reaches or goes past the beta phase, it will be released as a... Um, that's very interesting, I'll tell you about Taunt. Once it reaches the open beta and passes that and goes to the full alpha, it will be available on mobile. So you'll be able to play this on your Android devices, iPhone devices, iPads, um, any other tablets. So you'll be able to take it on the go. As I said, Taunt. That minion that he dropped this is Taunt. Um, and it gains some funny shield thing right around it. That means that I cannot attack the enemy hero anymore until I've cleared the board of mm. the Taunt character. So he basically draws the attention. He's got three attack power, so he can attack me though. 
for 3 damage and he's got 3 health. So I need to do 3 damage to clear him off the deck. I've got 4 mana right now, so I'll clear him with my minion. Doesn't cost me anything. I lose my minion because as you attack you lose durability. He's got 1 HP left. This is going to cost me 2. Clear taunt, now I'm clear to attack him. I'm going to drop an arcane missile which does 3 damage. And he's dropped down to 21. You saw there a little rope dropped in the middle of the screen there. If I take too long, the game decides, alright, um, I'm either AFK, so it needs to pass the turn, or I'm taking too long to make a decision, and that's unfair to the other player. And once that rope reaches the end of the side of the screen here, irrespective of what I'm doing, it cancels my turn. Seem to be doing not too bad with this match right now, because uh, I'm still at full HP. I'm too scared that I've just jinxed it. But we'll see what happens. Hmm. Once it reaches an, a, uh, a mobile app, I think I'll be downloading and taking it wherever I go as well. Like I say, ah, another torn character. But this one's not too formidable. It's what, got one attack power, so it's only going to do one damage. But he's got four HP, which is pretty hectic, which means I need to deal four damage to take him off the card, or at least off the board, before I can attack the enemy hero. This is now where my mage deck comes in very handy. I've got a polymorph skill here, where I can transform his minion into a sheep that has one HP and one attack power. Which means I can uh, do nothing about it right now because that cost me 4 mana as opposed to 3. I was planning on using my fire blast and taking him off. Anyway, he can still do nothing on the board right now because he stays polymorphed um, pretty much for a few turns if I'm not mistaken. Because I've never seen a polymorph turn back into a normal minion. What I'll do is I'm going to fast forward the video a bit because it seems to be taking a bit of time. I'll fast forward the video and then I'll pause or at least return to normal speed where um, where something interesting happens. So uh, enjoy the fast forward motion as I'm playing my game. Hopefully I win. I Okay, cool, I'll just slow it down there for a second. Um, something I did forget to mention is the... Hey, mother, pretty much something that gives you the um, upper hand here is to... Clear his minions first before attacking him. Um, as each minion has, obviously, its attack power and can do burst damage to you. So, if he has a lot of minions on his side there which is pretty much what's happening now. He can do a lot of burst damage, which you see there. I've instantly dropped down to 16, where pretty much just now I was on 30. Um, let's uh, carry on that fast forward motion. Cool, we'll slow it down there again because it looks like I have lost this match. Um, all I can do is minimal damage right now. Don't have a lot of cards on the mm. board. My deck let me down this time. Um, you'll see this little character here has a funny dragon, it's a rare card. He does 6 damage and has 5 HP, so he's quite formidable. Right now, all I can do is try and clear the minions off of his side. I'll do that with some basic attacks. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much the end of the game.
Job's done. I've dropped down a pretty badass character here, but he's gonna clear me before I can even use any of these. <clears throat> Let's see what he does and see if he takes his time again. Yeah, no, this game's definitely over. And that's it. So you see, the animations are pretty cool. The gameplay is simple. Um, obviously, a lot of strategizing that goes into it. Each deck that you have does level up, like you saw, I just leveled up to level 11. Um, but not like that helped me this time, because I left a big crater where I used to be. Um, if you're used to the World of Warcraft, or at least the Warcraft universe, you should have recognized and, 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 and saw some familiar animations, sounds, and things that are going on there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll give it a shot next time and see if I can get a few extra decks on my side there. And fill up my deck.